As Sister Jennifer and Sister Agnes told you about the sisters which are managing one of the secondary school for the girls in Mala region, they are here to express themselves. How are they doing? I'm Sister Lucy Rukwembe, the head missus of Kowak Girls Secondary School. Uh, finished my ordinary level education here in Tanzania and uh, I taught for about five years and then I got a scholarship to go to the States. I started I studied in uh, Wisconsin at a college called uh, Alveno College which was run by the school which is run by the school Sisters of St. Francis. I got my degree in English and religious studies. I'm happy that I'm um, I came back here in the country and uh, I've taught uh, in many different schools and now I'm, I've been here at Coac uh, for seven years and I'm happy to help the girls. As I said, uh, there is a big need of having another girls secondary school because really people, they see what we are doing is good and they want to bring their girls at our schools. But unfortunately, we have only one school. So if we get another one, maybe, probably, we try to, you know, to quench their thirst. Thank you. Our community is really working hard to empower the sisters with high education so that they can be able to be capable to take their mission work as they get a higher education. We can hear the story from our Dean of Studies, Sister Claire Nkambi. I am Sister Maria Claire Nkambi. I belong to the Congregation of the Immaculate Heart Sisters of Africa. I've been in this congregation for 40 years, so this year I'm celebrating my 40th anniversary. The leadership team has entrusted me to the education of the young sisters in the congregation. Some of the sisters enter the congregation without completing their education due to their parents refusing to continue with education because they wanted to involve them in early marriage. Some want their children to stay at home and work. So sometimes we accept the, the sisters very young in the congregation before they complete their education. That is why after they profess, we take them to schools to complete their education so that they may work effectively with the people in the country. Some of the sisters want to be doctors, they want to be nurses, they want to be teachers, and in order to be effective nurses and teachers and doctors, they need to continue with their education. Right now, I have 18 sisters who are in schools, in different schools. Four are studying in different universities in the country. Four are in nursing schools, seven in teachers' college, and there are seven others in secondary schools. In order to make good teachers, and in order to make good nuns also, and in order to work effectively, we need effective personnel. Our personnel is very short in uh, education. So my struggle is to encourage this young nuns first to go back to school in the old age, of course, and to take the opportunity of getting higher education. Our problem is how to get the funds. It is not easy to educate people in universities while you don't have enough funds. So the government helps just a little bit, but the whole load is for the congregation. Also on the picture 
is the following, the following picture is our generate house where the superior general and the council live. Here is the message from Sister Lita, our General Spilia, who will explain more about our project. <laughs> 